the American bully standard, general impression. The American bully should give the impression of great strength for its size, compact to medium large sized dog with a muscular body and blocky head. Powerful in its movement and should display effortless movement at the same time. Keenly alive and alert to its surroundings, the American bully should have the appearance of heavy bone structure with a bully build and look. Characteristics. The American Bully is a companion breed exhibiting confidence, a zest for life, along with an exuberant will to please and companionship with their family, this making the American Bully an excellent family companion. Despite the American Bully's fierce and powerful appearance, their demeanor is gentle. They are great with kids and extremely friendly with strangers, other dogs, and other animals. Human or dog aggression, extreme shyness, or viciousness is very uncharacteristic of the American Bully and is highly undesirable. The distinct, large, and broad head of the American Bully exemplifies breed type. Medium in length, deep throughout, broad skull, well chiseled with very pronounced cheek muscles, distinct and deep stop, and high set ears. Ears, set high and can be either natural or cropped. Eyes, all colors equally accepted except blue, which is a fault and albinism, pinkish to red, which is a disqualification. Lack of pigment around the eyes is undesirable. Eye shape is oval to slightly roundish low down in the skull and set far apart. Visibility of the haw should be minimal. Muzzle, short, medium in length and broad in width. Length to be shorter than the length of the skull. Measuring 25 to 35 percent, quarter to one third of the overall length of the head. The muzzle is blocky or slightly squared to fall away abruptly below the eyes. The top line of the muzzle is to be straight, with nose neither pointed nor turned up in profile. Jaws, well defined. Under jaw, to be strong and parallel to the muzzle never turned upward. Lips, semi-closed and even. Some looseness accepted, more so with the extreme and XL varieties, but not preferred. Upper teeth to meet tightly outside lower teeth in form, or scissor bite accepted. Nose, in all colors acceptable, except albinism, white, pink in color. Neck, heavily muscular, slightly arched, tapering from shoulder to back of skull. Compact to medium size, should have minimum or no loose skin. Some looseness of skin is acceptable with XL and extreme varieties. Four quarters. Shoulders to be strong and muscular with wide blades set wide and well laid back. The upper arm is approximately equal to the length of the shoulder blade and joined at an angle of approximately 35 to 45 degrees. Front legs. Straight front legs. Large and round bones. Pastures are short and nearly erect. Feet. Slightly turning outwards is acceptable as long as the feet do not measure 45 degrees. Body. Heavily muscled. Massive bully body type of compact medium length giving the impression of great power for its size and exemplifying the breed type of the American Bully. Well-sprung ribs, deep in rear, and all ribs close together. Rib cage to extend to the elbow. Four legs set rather far apart to permit chest development. Chest should be deep, broad, and well filled in. Back, fairly short to medium back. Slight sloping from withers to rump or straight accepted with gentle short slope at rump to base of tail. Slightly high rears accepted for XL and extreme varieties, but not desired in compact medium size. The American Bully should give the appearance of a square body, equal in length when measured from point of shoulder to point of buttocks, and from the withers to the ground. Hind quarters, well muscled, let down at hocks, turning neither in nor out, slight turns except in the next L and extreme varieties. Muscle development, angulation and width of hind quarters should be in balance with that of the fore quarters. When viewed from the rear, legs are to be straight and parallel. Croup should have a slight downward angle. Tail, medium in comparison to size, low set, tapering to a fine point and extending approximately to the hock. When relaxed, the tail is to be carried low. When moving, the tail is carried level with the top line or in the raised position when excited, but should never be carried curried over, breaking the plane of the back. Tail to be clear of any kinks, knots, or any curvature. Feet should be of moderate size, compact, well arched, and tight. Coat short, close, stiff to the touch, and glossy. Color all colors and patterns are permissible except the color merle. Size dog should be healthy and should not reach the point where it is considered obese. Weight there is no particular weight for the breed. Height. Height and weight should be in proportion of the body frame. Please see variety amendments. All varieties to exhibit bully characteristics and traits as described in the American Bully Standard, which are key elements of breed type to the American Bully breed. Standard American Bully, male 17 to 20 inches at the withers, female 16 to 19 inches at the withers. Gait should be effortless and powerful. The action must, however, be unrestrained, free and vigorous with powerful drive off the rear. 
Some paddling and lumbering accepted in XL and extreme varieties, but not preferred in compact to medium. Front and rear reach should be moderate and in balance with one another. Legs turn neither in nor out, nor ever cross or interfere with each other. Dog moving on the same plane. Each leg moving in the same plane shared with the other leg on the same side. Back line should remain level, with flexing to be very slight. 